Despite not being a main character, the elusive Mystery, otherwise known as Misty, has become a fan favorite character. Her appearance changes between seasons 2 and 3. In season 2, she had pink purple eyes and purple hair, and in season 3, she had red eyes and red hair. Despite this, she clearly looks like an alien ninja in both seasons, and that's exactly what she is. She's voiced by the same voice actress who's responsible for Tuck's voice, but this may be hard for some fans to pick up on. I read their minds while they were asleep, and believe me, there wasn't much to read. But I found what I wanted, their worst fears. The first two are bad enough, but number three is a doozy. And now that we know their weaknesses, we've got the upper hand. You know, I learned all kinds of interesting things while I was one with the robot. Here's one tiny tidbit. He's got an off button right on his back. In her first appearance, she is just one member of the Bizarre Teen Team, an outcast crime-fighting team similar to the Teen Titans. The other members were the Amazing Orion, who has super strength, super speed, flight, as well as some sort of energy attack, and the stupendous Squish, who can stick to walls, shapeshift, and fly. Misty went by the Elusive Mystery, which alluded to her mysterious psychic abilities. She's also known to be a ninja, and has the ability to change into her mist form at will, which can also instantly heal her. Naturally, she returns in Teenage Mutant Ninja Troubles, where she returns to Earth and attends school with Jenny after the teen team broke up. The Crust Cousins pick on Misty, which leads her to have a prank war with them. Jenny gets involved with it, but after Misty takes it too far, this makes Jenny and Misty look evil, and Jenny eventually has to stop Misty from going any further, causing her to get expelled. Despite this, Jenny and Misty remain friends. Unfortunately, this friendship wouldn't last much longer. Jenny learns just how evil Misty is in missed opportunities. Misty decides to take over the hero role which Jenny occupied. We eventually learn that Misty wants to force the residents of Tremerton to pay her for her services, and when Jenny learns this, they have a fight. Misty proves herself to be one of Jenny's most powerful enemies. Misty had the chance to completely defeat Jenny, but decides not to do it, remarking that she would do it if she was paid to. Fans were anticipating Misty's next appearance. Was she going to be a villain? Would she redeem herself? We were going to get all the answers in her next appearance. So, what happened in this episode? <laughs> Unfortunately, Misty's storyline would never be completed. There was no hope for many years, and most of us came to accept that we would never know what would happen to Misty. Renzetti went on to tell us that Misty was intended to turn into a villain in Season 4, but since it never actually happened, a lot of fans still aren't satisfied. While we'll never see an official ending to Misty's story, the My Life as a Teenage Robot reboot team has confirmed that Misty will appear in Season 5 of the upcoming fan project. This may give some fans closure. So what do you guys think about Misty? Which characters should we make a video about next? Tell us all about it in the comments below. And thank you to Phantom Freddy for recommending this topic. I've been your narrator, Draven Landau, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.